Okay. So now what is the reason behind the observation? We will see in this story. Let me tell you the characters in the story. There are four main characters. Philips, Lathabai, Mrs. Uh, Saltanchago, Betty and Cloud People, Casey. So let me tell about them. Philips, Lathabai, a man who aspires to become politician. So he wants to enter into political life. So he, he aspires to be a politician. And Mrs. Sultan Chago, she lives in uh, Brilmana, that is a place of Chalkshire, that is in London. A rich and influenced lady of high rank. And her son, Betty, son of Mrs. Sultan Chago. And Cloud People Casey, a friend of Slatha Bai. So now you have seen there is a four characters. Now let me tell you the gist of the story. So let me before that let me ask you a question. How many of you would like to help a stranger, even in bus stand or in market, any place? If a stranger is coming and asking a help, will you help them? Sometimes you may help. Okay. So how you will be able to help them? Will you find that they are telling the truth? If they are asking for money, will you inquire that really their money has lost? Yes, you might inquire that. Okay, so how you will confirm that they are telling truth? By their appearance or by asking repeated questions to them, right? Okay, so you might ask them how much money you had in your purse or something. You will be asking them and you will identify that they are telling truth or not. Then you will be helping. Sometimes if you find that they are telling lie, what you will do? You won't help them, okay? So here is also a story like that. Uh, Philip Slatabai is trying to identify the person Betty whether he is telling lie or not. Okay. So he is saying that Betty is not a true son of Mrs. Salton Jacko. So he tries to ask a lot of questions and find the truth. And we will see whether he is helping um, Betty or not. Okay. So now let me tell you about that. So uh, Salton Jacko and Betty are traveling in a train. So when they are traveling, they are Betty wanted to tell something about uh, his mother, how he, she looks like, what is the, um, uh, they have some uh, uh, crest, there is a Jago crest. Okay, so the simple like a print or something they have. So that stamp thing, whether this is, a, Betty is having a real one or not, is the doubt of Philip Slatha Okay. So, how he is managing by asking questions and at last, how he is finding the truth of whether Bhatti is Salton Jago's son or not. Okay. So, the travel in this uh, uh, train, we will have a we will have a lot of uh, conversation between Philip Slatapai and Bhatti. Okay. Now, let me move on to the lesson. Read page number 58. Here is an amusing story that describes how a man who considers himself very smart and observant finds that he had mistaken the genuine plea of a stranded youth. Okay, so here is a man, he is considering himself as a very smart, a very smart person. So most of the time we feel we are very smart. Okay, so we will tell to somebody that uh, I was very, I am very smart to observe the person's character. So I was uh, not in trouble. Okay, so being very smart we will be answering. Okay, so now here genuine person is a, yeah, we can see a genuine person but he, he is going to tell the truth to Philip Slatabai. Okay. So now let us read me. Let me read the characters in the play. Philip Slatabai, Mrs. Salton Chago, Betty, and Cloud People Casey. Okay, move on to the uh, lesson. Philip Slatabai settled himself down in an almost empty railway carriage with the pleasant consciousness of being embarked on an agreeable and profitable pilgrimage. He was born for Brill Manor, the country residence of his newly achieved acquaintance, Mrs. Sultan Jago. Honario Sultan Jago was a person of some social importance in London, of considerable importance and influence in the country of Chalkshire. 
the country of Chokshan or at any rate the eastern division of it was of immediate personal interest of Philip Slatabai. It was held for the government in the present parliament by a gentleman who did not intend to seek re-election and Slatabai was under serious consideration by the party managers as his possible successor and with luck. The seat might be held. The Sultan Jago influence was not an item which could be left out of consideration, and the political aspirant had been delighted at meeting Honario at a small and friendly luncheon party. Still more gratifying when she had asked him down to her country house for the following Friday to Tuesday. He was obviously on approval. And if he could secure the goodwill of his hostess, he might count on her nominating him as an assured thing. If he failed to find favor in her eyes, well, the local leaders would probably cool off in her in their embryo enthusiasm of for him. Okay, so now. Philip Slatabai, he is uh, traveling to his uh, pilgrimage. Pilgrimage means a religious journey. To, that is, uh, he is moving to Bril Mano, that is a country residence where uh, Mrs. Salton Jago's place, that is a Honorio Salton Jago means, it is a honor of a woman. Honorio means honoring a woman in the Latin word. So here, uh, there is uh, another one more word, embar. Embar means border. So he is very comfortably, he is uh, getting a seat in the uh, train and he settled down for where he is moving. He is moving to a pilgrimage, that is to Brill Manor. So for what reason he is moving means, uh, Mrs. Sultan Chago is a very honorary person in London. So to meet her, he is moving. So she is in the place of London in the Chalkshire, in the countryside, she is there. So now uh, Phyllis Latabai is wanted to meet her. For what reason means? He wanted to uh, have a, uh, uh, get into the eastern division of Chalkshire. So that eastern part he wanted to observe, uh, get into. So as a leader he wanted to get a position in the eastern division. So that he wanted to get a concern of uh, Mrs. Salton Chago. So if he is going and meeting her, he would be able to get that place. So it is the, the Eastern Division is his personal interest to get that. Because the government has held a parliament. So by that one gentleman who did not want to, who would not seek uh, intention to have a re-election there. So in that place, he is able to get into. So many other local people also, they are ready to get into that position. But what is that I means? If they get your concern in Mrs. Salton Jago's eyes, they will be able to get this position. So he is moving that. So Salton Jago, he has met her. That is a newly friend of her, Philip Slatabai. So now he is trying to uh, move and meet her. He has, Sultan Jago has given an appointment there. That is on Friday to Tuesday in their house, that is a country house, they can come and meet her. So now to meet her, she is, uh, he is moving to Biril Manor. So if there is a good name, they have got it from Mrs. Sultan Jago, he can be able to get into the position. Otherwise, that is the local people, they will be able to get into that position. So he is trying to meet her and uh, get a good name from her. Okay, the next paragraph. Among the passengers dotted about on the platform awaiting their respective trains, Slatapoy espied a club. Espied means caught a sight, able to see that a club acquaintance and called him up to the carriage window for a chat. So now in the platform, everybody are moving, some persons are awaiting the for their train. Their train has to come. So in that time, Slatabai, he could caught some person in his eyes. That is a, a note person he caught for, uh, as he is sitting near to, to the window in the carriage. He caught a person to chat with him. So he is talking to him in uh, sitting in the window side. Oh, you are staying with Mrs. Sultan Chago for the weekend, are you? I accept you will have a good time. 
she has the reputation of being an excellent hostess she will be useful to you too if that parliamentary project hello you are off goodbye so he is asking to the other person unknown person that is a, a, a new person to him he is talking so till now you have been with her that is mrs salton jagosa for the weekend you have been how you had your time i think it is a good time for you like that he is having a talk with the other person so the excellent uh, hostess she is a good hostess hostess means to guide the guest up so um, giving uh, be welcoming the guest will be no so like that she is a good person so as you have gone that she will be able to welcome you very well and she will be very useful to you like that he is uh, telling the other person also is telling to philips lata bank and now they have we are talk and they are moving from that place and they are saying goodbye to each other so the next paragraph Sladapai waved goodbye to his friend, pulled up the window, and turned his attention to the magazine lying on his lap. He had scarcely glanced at a couple of pages, however, when a smoother curse caused him to glance hastily at the at only other occupant of the carriage. His travelling companion was a young man of about two and twenty, with dark hair. fresh complexion and the blend of smartness and disarray that marks the costume of a nut who is bound on a rustic holiday he was engaged in searching furiously and ineffectually for some elusive or non-existent object from time to time he dug a six penny bit out of a waistcoat pocket and stared at it ruefully then recommend the futile searching operation a secret case match box latch key silver pencil case and railway ticket were turned out onto the seat beside him but none of these articles seemed to afford him satisfaction he cursed again rather louder than before The vigorous pantomime did not draw forth any remark from Slada Bai, who resumed his scrutiny of the magazine. Okay, the explanation. Slada Bai, he is uh, waving a goodbye to the other person, and uh, he pulled up the window and uh, turned his attention towards the magazine. What he is having in his lap. So he is, uh, has glanced there. Uh, a couple of pages a two pages he has just glanced up within that what happened a person nearby he came very hastily means a very speed up uh, that is another person he came to his carriage up so his traveling com- traveling companion was a young man about 2 and 20 2 and 20 means 22 years up with the dark hair his hair was very dark and fresh complexion fresh complexion means very fair in color and the blend of smartness and disarray disarray means untidiness it was not in a good a proper way good way that marks the costume of a nut who is bound of a rustic holiday rustic holiday means going for the fishing places nut means going uh, being like a silly person doesn't uh, uh, being a formal it is not like that an uh, informal way going for the fishing how the people will be very casual way silly person so like that he appearance was there and he was engaged very searchingly that is a uh, very furiously he was searching ineffectually means in vain so it was not able to find that he is searching something but there is no use in searching so for what he was searching which is non existent object which we cannot find that object he is continuously he is searching from so he is uh, uh, in between he is uh, digging his uh, uh, dug a yeah, six penny bit out of his waistcoat pocket so only that six penny alone he is taking again and again he is seeing it that in a ruefully very sorrowfully when you are not able to get some more money only limb a few money is there with you you will be very sorrowful right so like that the person is getting very sorrowful by seeing the six penny from his waist pocket so now his searching is not stopped again and again he is searching for so when he is searching he is taking all the things and he is keeping uh, spreading in the seat so what are the things that that means a cigarette case 
match box latch key a latch key means outdoor key outdoor house will have no in that one more key he is having and silver pencil case this is all the things and ticket uh, railway ticket everything he has kept in the seat uh, okay so that he has spread out uh, but none of these articles seemed happy for him so he is missing some other things so he is wanted to search for that so these all the things is not giving any satisfaction for him again and again he is cursing for the missing things and his voice is uh, raising up he is louderly he is cursing again and again than the before so the vigorous uh, pantomime pantomime means exaggerated behavior so if we are missing something we will be behaving in a different way right so like that he is uh, doing all the things but this way of the boy uh, the person's activity nothing disturbs sladabai sladabai is not ready to notice anything he is uh, just watching his magazine who resumed his scrutiny of the magazine so he is uh, continuously he is examining the magazine okay the next paragraph we will see in the next class thank you for watching hope you have understood let me tell you the gist of the so story again in the last of this lesson okay thank you for watching bye bye